If you look at your closest five people mm -hmm. and you don't see them accomplishing their goals, you need to change your circle. It doesn't mean to cut people off, right. fall back immediately. Yeah. It just means to decrease the amount of time you spend yeah. here and increase the amount of time you spend somewhere else. Yeah. Um, and either they gonna rock with you, right? Or they not gonna rock. And with they you. should rock with you. If anything, yeah. Once you start bringing back information, this is gonna be the test of whether this this relationship can continue. Right. You give them the information. Bring that value. If they don't internalize it and say, you know what, you're probably right, bro. Um, that could help. Yeah. If they if they're not looking at it and looking at their situation and making adjustments, you know, okay, this person might not be in my future. What's going on, people? This is Nigel. This is Brad. And this is the Uplift Fitness Club podcast. Damn, hey, we should have recorded that just now. Yeah, man, that was back in the day, man. Back in the days, man. Hey, man, you gotta check on your kids. <laughs> check on your kids, man. People in school joining on them, man. You can't. Bullying. Bullying them, man. Man, I was fly, man. Nah, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, them. Hey, fake me on. I ain't tell you about the one story, bro. Man, I already know what you about to say. This is the one story, bro. I had to look out for my boy. So we come up from the fifth to the twelfth yeah. year, man. We come yeah. since fifth grade. Man, I, I had these shoes my freshman year. It was the Jordan Flight 45s. And they look like threes mixed with some other stuff. Yeah. So I'm thinking, like, I just see elephant print. I'm like, oh, these is tough. I go to school the first day. I'm like, I'm killing them. Walking to school, everybody had the numbers. I ain't had the numbers. You know what I'm saying? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, I had the flight 45s. Yeah. I immediately wanted to cut my feet off and never <laughs> wear the shoes again. So, but I had my mom spent $130, I gotta wear these shoes. Yeah. So, that's freshman year though. The next year, I'm already hip. I know what's coming out. Space Jams came out, eggplants came out. I got my swag up, yeah. right? The next year, I think, or maybe, I think it was 11th grade, probably 11th yeah. grade year. Man, I see my boy Brad coming to school, man. He got the flight 45s on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smoking clean. Oh, Fresh out of the pack. Hey, bro, I get up, I get up. I'm like hugging the lockers. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I just heard his voice. I been out of here. Man, I think he was in the stairwell. <laughs> Don't look at me, don't, I'm like, don't look at me, don't look at me. <laughs> hey, don't ever wear them shoes again. <laughs> he, like, he like, why not? I said, them ain't it. <laughs> it's not the numbers. It's not the Remember numbers. The numbers, man. man. The numbers. Oh, shit. Man, I was messed up the rest of the day, man. <laughs> I'm over here sitting in the class. No, my feet to the side. No, this, this is the first time you're wearing this shoe. Oh, and I think one, one day, hot tops. Yeah, I think they was, oh my God, I was yeah. like, bro, you can't wear them shoes no more, bro. <laughs> my whole perception of them shoes shifted like that. Oh, so I walk around the school, pride, yeah. head up. To the motherfucker, I'm about to skip the rest of these classes. I gotta go home and get out of these. Oh my God. <laughs> whole time, this mama like, why you don't never wear them shoes no more? <laughs> Oh man, but it's all bullshit. It's all bull though. Like nobody care about that, bro. Man, we was focused on the wrong stuff. I might have been tenth grade. I it could have been tenth grade, eleventh grade. grade year was when I had came back to school. Yeah, yeah, like the cough drop. I had the car drop. Blowing your money on it. <laughs> <laughs> the penny just dropped. Oh, it had oh. no. Yeah, man. Them flight forty fives though, cause I know I know what you were seeing, like cause I seen it too when it's I went to pick it. It was the strap. <laughs> it was hard. Oh no! I say I rock, nah, I probably won't rock right now. Nah, <laughs> like they, they still they still ugly. I'm gonna stand by that they wasn't yeah. a good looking shoe, and we was just buying them cause they were Jordans. Yeah, but Jordans. if you gonna buy Jordans, you had to buy the numbers, man. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I'm so glad I ain't buying shoes no more though, bro. Yeah, I even man. like I was talking to my cousin the other day, and I'm putting this in the pod because he probably won't hear this. Mm -hmm. But he was saying, um, you know, he listens to the pod. He's trying to make better financial decisions, cooking at home. You know, he's yeah. listening. Yeah. 
And he said, you know, I had fought an urge the other day. I went into the, the foam dome or something like that, one of them shoe reselling places. Mm -hmm. And they had the Yeezys marked down for only like 500. And I didn't buy, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you kidding me right now, bro? Like, and he don't have no IRA. It take 500 to start your IRA on an M1, which mm -hmm. I ain't know. But I found that out. It's like, oh, you can take that 500, start your IRA, you're 21 years old. You'll be, I'm telling you, you will be a millionaire. And you talk about I resist. That's good. But like, let's, let's progress. But shout out to Nair, man. We're going to shout out somebody. Every pod, man. Shout out to my cousin Nair because I know he got potential. And, um, you know, I just want to see him actually accomplish more, push himself harder than he ever thought he could before. And um, you know, set some goals and achieve them jumps. That's a fact. Yeah. So we getting into picking back off uh, our last podcast, right? We talked about awareness, planning. Uh, this is this is all about solutions for the problems that you may have going on right now. And that, you know what, bro? The problem we ain't really tell the people what yeah. the problem is. It's, it's a lot of problems out the there, problem. man. What's the problem, Fair, bro? What you think of some of the problems might be out there? Man. Yeah. What's the problems, man? What problems did you go through? What problems do people go through, man? Man, uh, people of color, racism, especially in the workplace. Okay. I was talking to Brad earlier about, right. man, them old cats. <laughs> they don't like the young cats. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got those, I don't know, man. There's all different types. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got financial problems, mm -hmm. you know, That's a big one. Um, financial illiteracy, um, or just lack of understanding. You got um, people who don't feel accepted, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or people who exclude other people, like you was just talking about. Yeah. Um, what other problems? Confidence. Yeah, confidence and, and yeah, confidence was, was a big thing for me. For sure. Uh, in terms of that confidence, if you don't know, confidence, takes away from that, you know, motivation. Yeah, to get things done. And how you get that motivation, man? You start building that awareness, right? You start making some plans, for sure. And you start executing, execute. That's so what we're talking talk about. You are ready. You are ready. <laughs> talking about execution, right now. <laughs> and we in sync, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's yeah. how you start building that momentum. Now that confidence is going up, for sure. You know, them haters, you ain't really worried about them because you're on your grind. Hey, and them problems that you was having before, they like nothing but flies, bro. You swat right. flies at this too easy. Like it seemed like it was, it was them. What what they call them? Panthers chasing you, bro. Yeah. It's tigers chasing you when you yeah. when you got problems. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no confidence, yeah. bro. But when you get your money up, you get your confidence up. You get your efficacy up. Them problems become like, man. Get out of here, man. Yeah, you Stop start, playing with me. Start realizing that you have a lot more control. Yeah, yeah, you know, with what you thought you had. And it's just that gradual improvement, that progressive resistance. So it's like, um, or progressive overload. So like, I mean, when I first started training, we first started training, I mean, we benching like 95, 135. Mm -hmm. By the time we stopped training, bro, you was benching like 275, right. 225 for reps. I'm benching like 195, 205. And we had only been training for like a year and a half. So right. we went from, we damn near doubled our strength, right? So what was hard before, what we couldn't deal with before, right. is nothing now, you know what I'm saying? And that started with, you know, Execution. awareness. Whatever, planning. awareness, planning, and, and right? And executing. Literally, yeah. literally, we was aware, we want to be stronger, bigger, faster, jump higher. Bro, you know, I was dunking, bro, I was dunking from the hash. <laughs> So, you know, we was aware, then we planned, you know, we'll work out programming, right. you know what I'm saying? And this is all applicable. That's what I wanted to get to. It's like the problem is whatever the hell you're going through. If you're going through something, you apply these four steps to, or these four ideas to your life, you're going to overcome them problems. Right. So, so how do we execute? After, right, <laughs> you, you built your awareness, right? You've been planning, right? You got that down. Um, how do you execute day in, day out on a monthly, or let's start, let's say on a daily to a weekly, on a monthly to an annual, yearly basis? How do you execute? Man, you wake keep, up. How do you keep the pressure on? And wake keep up. Your foot on the on next. next. <laughs> wake up, bro. Man. First things first, but well, you know what? 
Let's take it to the day before. We talking about on a daily basis. On a daily basis. Just bro. day to day. How, you know, how we gonna execute? Go to sleep. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that might have been one of my biggest problems. <laughs> At some point. Oh yeah, man. Go to bed on time and you bro, say you can go to go bed. Go to sleep on yeah. everything, bro. Go to sleep. That's gonna start your next day off right. Bro, like it's it's I don't know what the statistics are on it. But college students in particular and, and working adults yeah. got sleep apnea, sleep insomnia, yeah. all these type of sleeping disorders where you can't rest with leg syndrome because you, know you ain't, bro, you ain't going to sleep. And, and for those who may have the night gigs, because, you know, we used to work a lot of that's true. I get off at 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, that's sometime true. midnight. Um, I had an issue with just going to bed. Like, right, right when you get home. home. Right. Yeah. I had a problem with that. I get home. You know, sitting there scratching my head for five minutes. Mm -hmm. Makes you know an hour went by. Now you scrolling. Now, you know, I'm scrolling when you playing watching some TV. PS3, playing, PS3 right? PS4. <laughs> now they got the PS5. Yeah. And, and all that, all that time, you know, that I could have been asleep. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm, I'm cutting into my next day. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. already pivot, pushing myself behind. I'm, I'm setting myself back and from the plan that I had for the next day. Because now I'm waking up late. Later than I anticipated, I might yeah. be running late behind something, and I'm playing catch up. I'm constantly playing catch up. Hey, bro. Hey, you know what day it is too. Hey, it's the, okay. Just let the people know when we record, man, because it's probably coming out the next week. Is it? Yeah. It's the day before inauguration. It's MLK Day. Hey, man, I drove in here. Hey, when you drove in here, nah, you ain't come the same way, bro. I drove in here, bro. You seen it? It looked like yeah. some type of explosion on 295. Yeah. I ain't tell my mama that when she called. Me. Oh man, you can't tell that. <laughs> but hey, turn, it's, turn that car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like I had to close the vents. I don't know what the hell was going on, but it's crazy times out here. I don't know what the hell you were saying, but it jumped my back, bro. It jumped distracted me, bro. But um, where we at? You said you was talking about waking up. All right, waking up. Yeah. So that's a that's one of the things. I mean, did you have that written down? Yeah, I had like, that written down. Man, that's man, that's a good one. That's because that's what took me to the you, next level. Yeah, bro. you start your day off right. Yeah, I mean, you start your day off, look, the earlier you could go to bed, the better. Um, I would say a good goal for most people because most of y'all probably if you ain't where you want to be, nine times nine times out of ten you ain't sleeping right. So yeah, Get twelve o'clock is the latest that you should be up. 12 o'clock, really ain't nothing good happening at 12 o'clock. <laughs> you, you doing something you ain't supposed to be doing at 12 o'clock. So you need to go your way, go your way behind the bed, man. Especially for the youngest. Because y'all y'all be up there all the, the uh, what do you call it? The, the late the, up to no good. Late shit. I don't even know 12. what they got out there now. Yeah, I don't even want to know. When we was kids, there was only so much things. <laughs> now it's now, up, the world at your hands. I mean, shoot, they got a phone, they already up to no good. <laughs> you know? So go to sleep, bro. 12 o'clock, you need to put your head on the pillow. And then 7.30, later. Really 7.30 too late. Yeah. 7.30. It's, it's, it's a good practice. It's good if practice. If you're not used to getting up early. Sure. Like 7.30, you know, that's a good practice. I'm going to encourage you, you know, get your that's super early. seven and a half hours of sleep. Because you probably going, as an 18-year-old, you probably going to separate yourself from the rest of your peers. As a 21 year old, you probably need to be getting up closer to 6 o'clock. Yeah. So, 12 to 6, hey, you're doing good. Now, if we could push that up 10 to 4, 4 30, now you're dominating. Right. Now yeah. you're living that Kobe Bryant yeah. lifestyle. Right. You know? And it's big that we had this sequence, you know, the execution is coming after the plan, right? Because we don't want you to just wake up just to wake up. Yeah, you're not you happy. How you do? <laughs> <laughs> you just up. You just up. You know, now you just wasted an hour. Sitting and around, boy. Doing, doing nothing. Two o'clock in the morning, boy. <laughs> Watching the sun come up. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got nothing to do. Yeah. So. Yeah, plan, man. So, so you said you established your plan right. um, on a daily, monthly, maybe quarterly, and annually basis. Annual basis. So that on a, a given day, you know exactly what you want to accomplish in those first few hours. I mean, shoot, man. If you have a nine to five, that's the biggest thing, bro. I want to work out before I go to work. Right. You know, I want to I want to write down what I'm grateful for before I go to work. I want to sit down and study before I go to work. Because once I'm on the clock, 
when you say your time is garnished, yeah, bro, all that time is it's not your time. <laughs> it's not your time no more. Like I need to, I need to do something for Nigel before I can do something for anybody else. And that's not selfish. That's self love right yeah. there, man. Yeah. Hey, this is a good episode already, man. I feel it. <laughs> I feel it, man. So we touched on, we touched on going to bed, going to bed, right? Wake up, right? There you go. And you good with waking up because you got purpose, right? You already got your plan. <clears throat> and um, and I wanted to go into staying focused. Damn, I had the same thing. You had the same nice. thing. I said, centralize your yeah. focus. Yeah. Hey man, for the <laughs> for the listener <laughs> shit. Hey, we not we not writing at the same time. Man. <laughs> this is what you call. I can't think of what. Man, go ahead. Man. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that, that was the next thing I have behind with. Stay focused, right? You got to It's time to lock in now. Um, you know, take advantage of the time, take advantage of that moment. Um, this touch back on, you know, having that awareness to realize, okay, I'm up in the morning, let's move. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get it done. Yeah, it's time will lose you, bro. Especially in the, I feel like the morning time. It goes so quick. Sometimes, you know, you brush your teeth. 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you put, maybe, you know, you like to hear a little song something in the morning. Nope, oh, 30 minutes. Th- yep, that's 30, that's an hour. <laughs> That's an hour now. Now it's, hey, you woke up at five, it's 6.30 now. And hey, go eat some breakfast. Oh, boy, now you got to run out the door. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a dub, so. <laughs> yeah, so, man, it's, hey. it's, it's time to really lock in and jump on the time that you had right then and there in that moment. Jump, jump on what you just said. Jumping on the time, bro. Yeah. Boy, like, literally moving quick. Yeah, you got a sense of urgency in the morning because the day is going to really slow down for you in the evening. Um. Um, so what you got next? What you got next after? All right, so I had centralizing your focus. I was taking the, I was gonna take a different um, approach, right? Yeah. So remember we read that book, Power Steps from Lamar. Hey, yeah, shout out to that, Lamar yeah, too. Shout out to Lamar. He man, probably was, not gonna hear this because he do he on his purpose. Yeah. You know yeah. He was one of the first to really. I think that's the first book I received on like self development. That's what's up. Um, yeah. yeah. So, that was a big me. There was on, that's a book written by Dr. Percy. I wish I knew his last name. It's like Percy Evans or something like that. But he's a professor with uh, Hopkins, or he was a professor for this program called Leadership Development Program at JHU. And I mean, that speaks a lot to about the environment. When I was a kid, I was 10 years old in those classes with 30 year olds, yeah. just being a sponge, literally answering questions taken away from their development. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, they buy. What is yeah. <laughs> But so, but like, um, that book had a chapter in it called Developing a, a Stacoma or a, a Stacoma, something like that, which is basically defined literally as having blind spots in your vision. Um, he's more so saying it as putting those blinders on, which is what you talk about. Right. Getting those good headphones. Yeah, that and, tunnel vision. And Call locking it. in. Like, when you're trying to really execute, you don't have time for the distractions. And if right. you do, not really executing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you wanna, you're definitely going to be ignorant to a lot of things going on when you locked in. I remember there was so much people, there was so much people, it was just little things in there, you know, my mom, my dad, family members asked, oh, you seen this? You heard about that? Yeah. Have you seen them? Like, I don't know what's going on <laughs> other than this book I'm reading. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I just know I got this deadline to meet. Yeah. That's, you know, that's all we really care about. Like, everybody's healthy. Everybody good. Everybody good. Everybody alive. <laughs> okay, I gotta read this book. I ain't yeah. really worried about what, what else is going on. Yeah, for sure. You did what? I mean, with this year, it's so much going on. Yeah. You could have, if you want to be distracted, this is one of the best years to yeah. be distracted, depressed, looking at your phone the whole day, yeah. worried. It's like, Definitely bro. worried. It's been a lot of worry since, you know, to we coming out of 2020. Yeah, for sure. So, for sure, but like, I mean, I don't. I at some point I had to make the decision. Like, I'm not watching the news. Yeah. I don't care. I'm a vote. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's as far as it goes. Yeah. I'm yeah. not doing all that. Mm-hmm. I, I gotta, I gotta lock in on this material. And it's one of the best decisions I could have made because I mean, I really feel if you was paying attention to everything, bro, you it ain't no way you're doing good mentally right now. Yeah. Um. So yeah, just just staying focused, centralizing your focus on your small, your short-term and long-term goals in order to execute. Now, prioritize. That's what I had next. Okay. Um, which I feel like is, that's, that's huge, man. That's like, 
prioritization line. Yeah, that's kind of that kind of it made me. The first thing I thought about when you, when you mentioned that is uh, boundaries. Okay. All right, because you have to set those. I feel like you set boundaries to prioritize things. Right? Prioritize yeah. your time. Right. Yeah. It's like, hey, this this is my time to handle this. You know, I'm gonna get back with you. Right. It's kind of like yo. Take a message, I'll get back to it. Absolutely. Put your phone on D and D. I'll get back to it. Like Absolutely. you know. Um, hey man, you can't feel bad about setting boundaries too. That's the no when to say no. That's the <laughs> thing. <laughs> That's the best thing I had. And you can't want to say no, because I mean in order to execute, bro, you know how I many times you already know, man. Yeah, I say sure. no hey, to bro, a lot of stuff. Let me man. tell the people, man. Hey, even before, even before you really went to the next level, yeah, bro, bro had the type of person know what the hell he wanted to do <laughs> and what he don't want to do. Yeah. So you can invite, man. It was times, man. Hey, bro, we about to go to the club, man. Come yeah. on to the club. He don't never come out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, like, come on, come on, bro. He might even say yes. But I know it's my he thinking nah, I ain't. Nah, I ain't. <laughs> hey, yo, if I'm texting you like I'm bra- hey, bro, you coming out? Nah. <laughs> it's just oh, like man. you know, you have to define what type of person you are, what you value, mm-hmm. at as early in age as you can. Um, because if not, you can be influenced very easily by Absolutely. what you think is fun, by what people telling you is what you need to be doing. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you already know what's important to you, you prioritize uh, different aspects of your life, right. then you're not going to be as easily swayed, you know, or or influenced by things that might seem fun but don't really have nutritional value. Right. Like it's it's empty calories, bro. Going out, yeah. drinking, smoking. You won't be at the club. Yeah. You won't be. Hey, bro, what is that really doing for you? Think yeah. about if yeah. you spent four months turning up. Or if you spent four months studying and looking like you a bum, where you yeah. gonna be in four months? I said get money, act broke. There you go. That's the model I apply by. Hey, I told my cousin, man. <laughs> I told my cousin, the same cousin I shot it out at yeah. the beginning of jumper. I told him the people at my college could. It was like three girls that told me this. It was like, um, yeah, I'm surprised. Like I would take them on a date or whatever. And I was, they was like, I'm surprised you're not wearing uh, sweats or the hoodie. I was like, what you talking about? She's like, you be wearing them same Adidas sweatpants every time I see you. I told my cousin, like, yeah, hey, bro, I didn't care about none of that in yeah. college. I was trying to get grades. I was yeah. trying to run this organization. Like, I'm not worried about none of that. Yeah. I'm working out. Like, yeah, I'm wearing the same stuff. Yeah. Okay, now what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm pretty sure everybody at my college know exactly what sweatpants she was talking about. <laughs> they already got the imagery too. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. What's one of you know what those? The BS yeah. sweatpants! <laughs> okay, and they didn't know though, I had two pair of them, bro. The so, same yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But that's just like, once you prioritize, bro, I wasn't worried about Flight 45s and number Jordans yeah. no more. Like, at that point, it was academics. At this, at this point, is learning this material, working on this business, saving money, investing money, and figuring out what the hell I'm about to money do. Did. Yeah, yeah. And you gotta get to that point. You gotta get to that point. That's how you. That's how you execute. What you got for the people next, man? What, what did you just say? No one wanna say no. No one wanna say no. That's 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 all I have for execution. Man. Okay, look, well, I got I got a couple more. Man, you got to believe in yourself. I mean, we touched on confidence. Mm-hmm. But that that unwavering belief in your yeah. ability to see things through mm-hmm. is gonna help you execute. Yeah. It's when you it's when you're easily rattleable where you can lose that focus or you can deviate from your plan. I feel you. I, that's a big one. I remember. I remember. You know, even in the process of executing, um, still having the self doubt. Like, am I doing? You know. Am I doing the right thing? Is mm-hmm. this gonna help me get to the next level? Or am I just or am I just doing this just to do it out of you know out of vain? Or you know, it, am I gonna see the results that I wanna see? Is there light at the end of this tunnel? Cause some of them nights, you know, executing, it can drain you. For sure. You know, I had those moments like, man, it, it seemed like 
that's forever lasting. I'm studying every day. I'm mm-hmm. working hard every day. You know, people hit me up. They saying, let's go out, let's do this thing. And it doesn't feel like anything has happened. Right. Anything has happened. I'm yeah. still in the same predicament as I'm going through all of this. Damn. Nothing has changed besides me, you know, being on my purpose and I'm reading, I'm busting my... That's that delayed, <laughs> delayed you know, gratification. Though. Right, that's a delayed right. Yeah, yeah. but that's, it's... Even though, even though you can be all in, in completely right mindset, you still gonna have that little voice in your head telling you, man, hey, hey man, you might not, you might be wasting your time. Yeah, you, you gotta be wasting your time. It's that's those automatic negative thoughts we yeah. talked about. Like, yeah. probably uh, it was right. COVID fitness that we talked about that. Mm-hmm. But like, uh, crushing those ants, man. Automatic negative thoughts. You have to be able to. As soon as a negative thought comes in your in your subconscious yeah. or your conscious, crush that jump, bro. Yeah. Get rid of it. You know, the biggest thing that helped me with those negative thoughts, man, was that I used to think about what you had going on. Yeah. And I think about what my cousin had going on. Yeah. And, you know, at the time, I used to go to the library a lot. Yeah, for sure. And a lot of them people was in there, too. They were studying and trying to be doctors and Shit. whatever else they had going on. Yeah. So I used to, you know, I had them thoughts. I'm like, damn, man, you know, this stuff's getting tough. I look up, everybody head in the books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm talking about no bathroom breaks. They've been there five, six hours strong. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I, can get, I got to, do this. I got to get through this. I want, I want to, um, I want to say this, man. Well, it was two things. That's efficacy, um, and in the black community in particular, a lot of children and young adults struggle with the idea of whether their their concerted and intentional efforts mm-hmm. will amount to anything. Right. Because they failed so much and been told by so many different people directly and indirectly that they will fail or they have failed. Right. Um, so then when they get into adulthood, they have self-determination or the ability to, to make their own decisions. They really don't feel like they can do anything. And it gets worse with the, the more negative experiences that, that, that you've had. Mm-hmm. So I think about my cousin all the time that's locked up. And I mean, he's been locked up longer than he's been out. Um, and like, I know that there are things he can do. I know like, you know, I'm not gonna get too far into it, but it's just like certain things he can do for himself right now to better his position. Right. But when I talk to him, I get worried about um, the idea that he might not think it's gonna amount to anything because right. he's had 10, 15 years of basically not being able to make an impact in his life. Right. So, I mean, even kids on the outside, man, it's, it's kids that's growing up with no successes, bro. Like, even us, we had a good childhood. Right. We had a negative environment, and that's the next thing I wanted to touch on. But we had good experiences for the most part. Right. right. But even then, when we got into adulthood, it's like, we, <laughs> we deal with all this self-doubt. Yeah. So yeah. imagine what a person who had a poor home situation, you know, their parents yeah. ain't showing them the love, they ain't getting no type of encouragement from nowhere. Right. They don't have no efficacy. And like, we wonder why people, you know, resorting to crime, killing each other, is because they don't even think they have prospects of success in their future. So why should they care? So, um, so environment, man, that's what you just was kind yeah, of reminding me. Yeah, so we just, we're just coming off of belief. So you gotta believe in yourself. For sure. Right, got to, you're gonna have, you're gonna have those moments where you, you're gonna have to really, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but over everything, bro, you gotta believe in you, bro. Yeah. You're you. Yeah. Stop I believing mean, yeah, in yeah. everyone else but yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but environment, bro, you 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 keep alluding to your cousin and me at that time. Yeah. Um, that's your circle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who? Oh man, Fifty Cent, man. We talked about it before. You gonna go as far as the motherfuckers you talk to for no reason. You'll be yeah. successful as the people you talk to for no reason. Yeah. What I mean is, if you spend your time talking to it, they ain't got nothing going. What kind of yeah. information can he offer you? Hey, shout out to Malika, man. Hey, she, bro. She, my cousin might be a doctor. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. A lot of motivation. A lot of motivation. Lot of motivation. That's tough. I mean, it's, it's people, bro. Um, it's this girl, bro. She don't even know, bro. She not gonna hear this. But she about to be a doctor, bro. Mm-hmm. Amazing work ethic. I'm talking about, she was my tutor in um, A&P in college. Mm-hmm. And I'm just blessed. So all I needed was just to talk to her about the concepts yeah. and I could go get an A on the test. Yeah. But I'm looking at her notes, bro. Bro, notebook double this size. <laughs> Feel from front to back. back. Everything, both pages. I'm like, damn, you taking notes <laughs> like this? I'm in the class 
The same class that her notebook was for, yeah. I ain't took the notes since I stepped in that job, bro. Got an A in it, though. But it's just like, yeah. that is, that's why she's going to be a doctor. Yeah. And I'm going to be a personal trainer. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, different. you know what I'm saying? Like, her path is cemented because of the bricks that she's laying with her work, with her work ethic. Yeah. Um, but that's motivation, bro. And I knew in that moment, I needed to go to tutor and surround myself with a person who know what, what know what's going on. I'm about to cuss. Know what's <laughs> going on who can give me the game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So if you look at your closest five people mm -hmm. and you don't see them accomplishing their goals, you need to change your circle. It doesn't mean to cut people off, right. fall back immediately. Yeah. It just means to decrease the amount of time you spend yeah. here and increase the amount of time you spend somewhere else. Yeah. Um, and either they gonna rock with you, right? Or they not gonna rock. And with they you. should rock with you, if anything. Yeah. Once you start bringing back information, this is gonna be the test of whether this this relationship can continue. Right. You give them the information. Bring that value. If they don't internalize it and say, you know what, you're probably right, bro. Um, that could help. Them. Yeah. If they if they're not looking at it and looking at their situation and making adjustments, you know, okay, this person might not be in my future. That's a fact. You know, but I think my problem is I always wanted to articulate that to them. Yeah. Because I feel like I gotta be a person of integrity. <laughs> I don't handle things the best way all the time. But we're gonna move on though. Um last one I got for execution, bro. Okay. Act now. Act now? Do it now. Yeah. Yeah, I seen this old white dude, I don't know his name, I ain't gonna shout him out. But he said, I went from uh can't, won't, and never to can, will, and now. Mm. You gotta do it now. Whatever it is that you want to do that's gonna yeah. benefit you, stop thinking about it and just do it. Don't ask me how I do it. I just do it. Don't ask me how I do it. I just do it. Hey man, we're getting into capacity building next. So oh boy. I think you've been right, you 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 brought in your awareness, right? You made your game plan, mm -hmm. right? You've been executing, right? Now we're getting into capacity. Capacity building, man. Build. It's like um, it's like this. What is that? What is capacity building? Capacity building is, um, we don't have a definition for it. That's a term that I wrote, I'm sure it's been said before, but this is mine today. So capacity building is just going from execution in one area to execution in that area plus another. It's habit stacking. Right. That's E.T. Habit stacking, bro. Add to your faith goodness right. and to your goodness love. So it's basically developing and strengthening your, your skills. Strengthen your strengths right. and then create a new strength. Create a new strength. Because you are already you're already solid. Strength. now. Right. already solid. It's like you're building right. a so, wall. So you have this foundation now. Oh, here we go. Right. Now we okay. We can build the first store. There you go. Now we're about to build a second store. How you gonna build a skyscraper, bro? You don't stop. You don't start at the top. You don't yeah. stop at one level. Yeah. yeah. You gotta keep going. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, man. Capacity building is like like a like a track athlete, bro. Mm. Um. Everyone at the at the national level is elite. Like you're an elite sprinter if you're a sprinter. If you're at long distance, you're elite. But certain people, the, the difference um, in performance between two aerobic endurance athletes is their um, ability, what is it? Their VO2 max. Mm -hmm. So if you have a higher VO2 max or a higher lactate threshold than the next person, then you're gonna be a better performer. So if I can, basically it's saying, if I can take more stress, if I can take more responsibility in that moment, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna be a higher performer. Okay, so some of y'all, I'll give you another example. Some of y'all cold with your right hand. You're a basketball player. You can go right all day. You got the in and out, cross, come back to the right. You can finish with the right. You ain't got no left. Yeah. Once a real basketball player see you ain't got no left, it's over. <laughs> what you gonna do? Yeah. I'm locking all that right. down. Use that left. I'm stripping everything. <laughs> everything. And that's what it is, bro. So when, when you get into real life mm -hmm. and you only good at finances, but you neglect relationships, mm -hmm. then that's your left hand, bro. Okay, now you getting, getting into it. You ain't got no yeah. left hand, bro. Yeah. How you gonna maintain relationships? Yeah. 
you just focused on finance. Now you can't be there for your kids emotionally. Your yeah. wife done yeah. left you. And you now, <laughs> the thing you was good at, yeah. she done took half of it, man. Mm. <laughs> man, what you gonna do? So you gotta be able to balance these things, man. And you gotta place importance yeah. on all the aspects that create your own ecosystem. So, capacity building, man. Capacity building, man. I like that one, man. You was dropping hey, bombs. I was <laughs> <laughs> hitting them with the Damn, bombs. Son, where'd you find it? <laughs> Tyreek. I look, so it's, um, I'm going to give you another analogy. This progressive resistance, which I've said earlier on, I think on this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, every week on your lifts, if you're able to handle the weight. So, I, like, I program. Um, so if you can do three sets of 10, right? No problem. The next week at five pounds. Okay. Cause if you don't do that, if you don't overload your system, you're never going to see results in your physique. So, um, we got to do more. We got to do more. If you're currently good at finances, if you're good at relationships, start developing yourself in another area and step outside of your comfort zone. Um, expand your impact through action mm-hmm. so you got to be intentional about improving yourself in that capacity with me I struggle to maintain relationships if I'm not in front of that person so me and you we straight we've been right. talking all the time because right. we have things we're working on right. and we have a friendship mm-hmm. my mother I'm talking to her all the time right. so right. we're good right now right. for the most part um, <laughs> but my sister though I mean being honest like me and my sister we're not in front of each other and I don't make a consistent and concerted effort to be around her and be in her life. Mm-hmm. So our relationship suffers. Um, and I know that's something I got to work on. So, mm-hmm. I mean, damn, bro, we getting, we getting personal, bro. Yeah. Why, why divulge all that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, man, I, I think what, what it is is you got to stop making excuses mm-hmm. about what you can't do. And um, take advantage of the opportunities that you have, right? And that you can do. Yeah, for sure. Because, I mean, you talked about it, like, on your drives home, when you had that 16-hour commute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's a long, it's a long story. <laughs> and that 35-hour commute on a daily. Um, you was listening to audio books, making yeah. phone calls. Yeah. Like, I got that opportunity. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Come home from work. I can make a commitment. To call my, you know what? Right here on the pod, I'm gonna do something I ain't done before, man. What you about to do, man? Man, I'm gonna make the commitment, man. I'm gonna call my sister at least one time a week, yeah. man. Okay. I'm gonna do it. And okay, if I don't man. do it, write man. It down, man. If I, you know what? I'm gonna write it down. We gotta be an example for the people, yeah. man. Because if we don't do it, we can't tell y'all to do it. Yeah. So, yeah, man. That I mean, you just saw you just saw a real live example of like, this is how you behave with intention. Right. Have so, that awareness, right? Let me see the situation, what's going on. Make a plan so you can put that pen to the paper, right? And then you just need to execute. I'm still touching on the capacity building. Um, right now, he's adding, adding to what you already got. What you got? Man, I'm good right now, man. At, um, I'm good at working out, obviously. Right. Because I ain't never going to drop that. Yeah. I'm good at studying right now. Yeah. I'm about to be finished with this CSCS. Yeah. I'm only waiting on this card to come in so I can get the cash back rewards. Bombs. Oh. Hey, I got one on the way. Hey, <laughs> that card, that card, tough. Man, I should have hit you up about the credit card. <laughs> they got, man, they've given me 5% back on uh, groceries, man. <laughs> yeah. But, but I'm not. Like, whole food. Super. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm good at that. I'm good at that. Um, I'm good at being accountable to myself. Yeah. Not so good at being accountable to other people. Mm-hmm. So I think I could do a better job of following through. And I think the biggest thing we want to get out of this is just encouraging people to be, I mean, this is two minutes of an exercise. Right. But y'all got to really evaluate what your, what your strengths and weaknesses are. And then write down how you could become better at your weaknesses and how you can maintain your strengths or improve on them. Mm-hmm. Um, but focus on those weaknesses, man. It's the, it's the triple-double lifestyle, man. That's what E.T. talk about. We're not, we're not trying to get 50 points and lose the game. 
Yeah. We trying to get 10 points, 15 assists, 10 rebounds, and make sure everybody at the table eats. And that's what I'm trying to do, bro. <laughs> that, I promise you, bro. Like, bro, the, the biggest part about this year, like, I've had a great year. You've had a great year. Yeah. But the thing I'm most proud about with this year um, is the fact that I've been able to help improve my mother's situation, my situation, um, my cousin's tapping in, you know what I'm saying? We started a freaking podcast and we're like, we're, we're sharing this information. We only got to do one episode and now people can go there and get game. As long as we really provided something, yeah. this is a service, bro. Um, and I'm, I'm the most proud about that because if I was just improving, 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 I could probably even go faster. Yeah. But if I'm making these kids we mentor go to the yeah. next level, bro, that's what it's all about. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. Don't somebody else go to the next level. For sure. So last thing with capacity building, man, we gotta set new goals. So on your on your strengths and your weaknesses, um, once you identify what you're good at, what you're bad at, um, just create another goal to go to the next level. Maybe go ahead, stretch, um, have a long term, several short term goals to reach that long term goal. Mm-hmm. Um, and once you accomplish that, do it again. It don't stop. Yeah. That I had to, I have been I've been writing down some new goals because I reached all my old ones. I be feeling like somebody reached out and chose us. <laughs> Come on, man. It's, that's what it is, bro. We not we not staying stagnant no more. Twenty twenty one, bro. It's it's a new year. It's the same yeah. routine. And, and and that's how you attack them problems, man. I think. I think we, what else you got for them, man? Problems, solutions, right? Build that awareness. Come up with that plan. Start executing. Build right. your capacity. Build your capacity so you can, you know, keep your keep your foot on their necks. Keep your foot on their necks. Who next? I don't know, but who next? <laughs> the number one on this field. Have we jump off the world? Who next? Write it down. You can't wait your whole life to make a change. Believe in yourself. Innovate with integrity and intentionality.